are Chinese, but I'm a total opposition to the Chinese Communist Party. I was born and grew up in communist China. About 20 years ago, I fled the Tiananmen Square and came to the United States of America as a student. I got my master's degree and I started working for corporate America and US federal government. Life is good in America, but having a good life does not make me feel safe anymore because I fear the country that I love is becoming the country that I fled. In a free capitalist society, the Chinese Communist Party has bought out America's most valuable asset from Wall Street to Main Street, from Hollywood to NBA, from Silicon Valley to North Dakota's farmland, from mainstream media to social media, and even worse, Elon Musk's $44 billion takeover of Twitter is financed by the CCP money. The CCP's enemy number one, Mr. Miles Guo, had his personal account permanently suspended by Twitter a few years ago. The Chinese dissidents had already been canceled out by CCP in China. We had never imagined being canceled here in the United States of America. No one knows better about the danger of communism than the survivors of the Chinese Communist Party. We are the survivors of the Cultural Revolution. We're the survivors of the Tiananmen Massacre. We're the survivors of the labor's concentration camp and the genocide. And we know that the only thing worse than the CCP in China is the CCP in America. The CCP does not fear the U.S. government, the U.S. media, or any major institution. What it fears the most is we, the people, the deplorables, the Chinese dissidents, who are putting their lives on the line, fighting for freedom every day. America is one nation under God. And the CCP might have owned Wall Street, NBA, Hollywood. But the last thing we should allow the CCP to own is America's courthouses, America's justice system, and America's rule of law. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, but the can the U.S. Constitution save America from communism? Let's heed the warning by John Adams, your founding father. Our Constitution is only made for a moral and religious people. It's wholly inadequate to government of any other. America is one nation under God. If you don't believe God, you will be bought out by the CCP. If you don't believe in God, you 